New tonight, punching sprees, half naked hit and runs, and inmates cleaning up trash. What the Florida's happening at Barefoot Lake in Lehigh Acres. Thanks for joining us on the Night Beat at 11. I'm Russ McCaskey. I'm Amanda Hall. Earlier this week, we showed you this video of a man going on a punching spree at the lake. Witnesses told us he got violent when somebody asked him to slow down on his dirt bike. And last summer, this bikini clad woman went wild. You may remember this video. She's accused of crashing into an ATV right down the street from the lake. The rider was seriously hurt. People who live in the area say stories like this are just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, the Night Beach Just In Case joins us now live from Barefoot Lake. So, Justin, how are neighbors coping with all this chaos? Well, they're not coping. They can't cope. They've run out of options on top of everything you just said. Neighbors say it told us that for the last year or so, street racers are also now blocking the streets, these residential streets leading to 82 every Saturday and Sunday. Neighbors try to leave to go to work, to go to the grocery store. Those street racers, they tell us they won't move. In fact, the street racers tell neighbors to go around the long way. Now, these neighbors are fed up. They've called the cops. They say the cops don't show up. But tonight, there is a little bit of optimism, and it's all hinging on a statement from the Lee County Sheriff's Office about bringing back some order to this quiet neighborhood. Imagine being scared to leave your own home on weekends. We're trying to enjoy our time is getting destroyed by them trying to enjoy theirs. It's a lot of gangs, a lot of bad people. I don't like that for my kids. The parties, the gatherings, races, drugs and alcohol use, the brawls, the littering, the noise, even the drownings, it is out of control. Or whatever they want to do in the lake, because it's not our property, we don't really care as much for it. But when you're getting into our time of us being able to go to the street the and then my mom being able to drive to work, that's where I seem to have a problem with it. And it got video of the street racers blocking the roadway last Sunday. The men told me, oh, go back, go back. Hey, I'm, I'm driving for the street. I don't drive him for the, I'm going for a, a estero. And I need that going for this side. They were blocking you from even leaving. Yes, leaving. yes. This happened the same day a huge brawl broke out where a guy is now facing a handful of charges. You've seen this video on Wink. You've also seen the documentation of the shocking level of litter left behind here. Neighbors also say the street racers crash into mailboxes and trash cans, never once taking responsibility for the damage they cause. It's been more than a year since this family has been able to enjoy their once quiet neighborhood. No, for now. Not Sundays and Saturdays. Uh, when my dad was alive, he would take the babies all the time to on the weekends to the lake, but that was when it was more controlled. So the Lee County Sheriff's Office this week just put out a warning on social media saying that anybody who comes to this lake, you got to get ready because they're going to be increasing patrols here during those peak times when everybody seems to be out here because they don't want that chaos to ensue to keep uh, messing it up for all the neighbors who live here. Now, plain and simple, they did say if you were thinking about partying at this lake next weekend, think again. Neighbors said only time will tell about whether or not order is restored here. Live on the Night Beat, just in case, Wink News.